Hi, I'm Gail Sturgis of Talent Align, and I welcome you to our Agile People Framework IT demonstration. A quick question, true or false? 300% is better than 100%. Don't think too hard. If you said true, which I hope you did, and if you're like me, then I guess you and I will be aiming for the 300%. And yet there are organizations, maybe even sitting in this room, that are prepared to settle for the 100%. Is it because they don't know or is it because they're complacent with what they have? But that's exactly what we do with Agile People Framework IT, or AppFit for short. We help you get to that 300% mark. Well, based on research and experience at Vitality Chicago, an Agile training organization, this is the difference between Agile adoption versus Agile transformation. The difference between 100% and 300% is a result of how Agile is introduced and implemented in the organization. Is it Agile adoption or Agile transformation? When first introduced, it is generally Agile adoption and generally just in the IT area. Customers today are demanding a different experience when interacting with the organization, especially using new digital technologies and IT is brought in to address some of these demands. After a time, however, it's realized that there are significant benefits that can be achieved using Agile. So there is a move to take Agile more broadly, initially within IT and maybe one or two other business areas, such as marketing. But why is this so important to HR and line management? This is the general definition of Agile transformation. In this sentence are three keywords, transforming, meaning to change or convert, culture, meaning the values, principles, and beliefs held within the organization, and nature, meaning the character, complexity, and personality of the organization. If these are going to change, we need deep involvement of HR supported by senior management. But the problem is, probably neither HR nor senior management were part of the adoption process. Nothing about HR really changed for the Agile adoption process. HR now needs to play a catch up in order to play the central role in the transformation process. And this is what we do with the Agile People Framework. We help HR fast track their knowledge, skills and processes to not only support Agile transformation, but to actually help facilitate it. Let's try to understand what this means. The first image is one that we have come to recognize that symbolizes Agile. It illustrates the iterative nature of working in an Agile world. But did you notice there's a big blank space in the middle? So our question was, what is central or foundational or core to making Agile successful and effective in organizations? What will help get you the 300% productivity improvement rather than just 100%? We believe the core of Agile is just this, culture and mindset organization structures and roles, ranks and levels, engage, motivate and reward. We'll explain these separately. We start with the C in core, culture and mindset. To understand this better, we looked at research. Why do agile transformations fail? Or why do they take longer than expected? Or why do they cost more than anticipate? What research tells us is 44% lack of experience with Agile. Well, that stands to reason. But Agile is learning while doing. Are we failing to learn while doing? 42% company culture. Agile is a culture change and that can't happen just in IT, just in one area of the business. 38% management support. Are management still old style, command and control? This means that management have not yet developed an agile mindset. 
37% external pressure for waterfall. Other departments like finance and HR, for example, are still operating with a waterfall mindset. This is in direct conflict with Agile. 36% cultural transformation. We don't look at Agile transformation as a cultural change. We try to slip it in, hoping it will hold up. 33% broader organization. We've already spoken about the broader organization functioning with processes designed for old style mindsets. 33% unwillingness. There are always the few that want to buck the system. 30% insufficient training. Is this because of insufficient training or because we're not learning while doing? But the important thing about this is, have you noticed? Not one reason is about agile, agile processes, and especially not about organization structure and roles, which is where most organizations seem to think that agile transformation starts. It doesn't. It starts with culture and mindset, understanding where you are now in the organization, where you want to be, and where and what to do to get you there. To look a bit deeper at culture and mindset, this includes cultivating an agile mindset throughout the organization, even in areas that are not using agile yet. Understanding the organization's values and making sure that they don't conflict with the Agile values and where they do, well, that requires a deeper conversation. What talents does the organization need? And here I refer to the book by Marcus Buckingham, Now Discover Your Strengths. Different organizations need different strengths. What strengths does your organization need to function effectively? How should leadership development programs change to create agile leaders? And how do we go about retraining current leaders? What is psychological safety? And how do you go about inculcating this in an organization? How can we develop lean change management practices that are better suited to agile environments? All these things are considered and discussed in the C of the Agile People Framework. The O in the Agile People Framework is organization and roles. This is where many organizations start their transformation, then wonder why it's not working. Agile organization and roles is much more than just a restructuring exercise and new job titles. It's about analyzing the value streams in the organization, understanding the capabilities needed, understanding where value is and how it's created what the outcomes or deliverables need to be. Then looking at the delivery structures as well as the support structures, matching people to roles based not only on skills. These are all part of the different discussions that you will have when you use the Agile People Framework IT. Yes, there are ranks and levels in Agile, but they are just different to traditional grading and mostly they have little or nothing to do with remuneration. Firstly, there are reporting levels. All organizations have to report to stakeholders, investors, tax authorities, stock exchanges, and to employees. Then there are careers. Careers in Agile can and do happen in any direction, up, down, sideways, circular, for many years, we at Talent Align have been strong proponents of spiral career pathing. Agile just takes this concept to the next level, excuse the pun, to what in Agile is called career mosaic. Work levels may or may not continue to survive going forward. If they survive, they're going to have to be rethought out and revamped to better fit Agile environments. At the moment, they are still far too steeped in industrial era thinking. There are different complexity levels throughout organizations, from decision making to applications, from people to infrastructure. Competencies, or rather competencies defined by outcomes rather than by tasks, are becoming an important adjunct to Agile. The ability to deliver work in what matters in Agile 
not the tasks it takes to deliver the work. In the data-driven work, we need data about the workforce. Workforce analytics helps us understand this better. And finally, the E of engage, motivate, and reward. This is where all the work that has happened in the other three quadrants becomes real. Real in the sense of agile methods for talent management. So more agile methods and processes need to be established for attraction and sourcing. What, where, when, and how onboarding with the aim of getting people up to speed or fully productive in the fastest possible time. Development, new ways of developing people that are quicker and more successful. Performance, traditional performance management doesn't work. Newer, exciting ways of managing actual performance are emerging in Agile. Career management, assisting people on their chosen career course, whatever that may be. Workforce planning. This is, in my opinion, as important to the organization as cash flow planning is and should not be underrated. Succession planning is actually about mitigating risk, minimizing the risk of losing key skills and not only directed at management. We look at different ways different organizations are dealing with these issues of agile talent management. All of this enables us to create an agile HR framework that really is agile, agile in mindset, agile in culture, agile in process, and agile in how we do things here. Now we look at what the agile people framework IT is and is not. It is a framework, a context or a skeleton. It's a comprehensive look at talent management and how to achieve it. It's a process of conversations and a guide for those conversations. It is agnostic to agile methodologies and it is agile in and of itself. It is not a recipe or a best practice. It is not to be rigidly applied and it is not a model that can be implemented without the conversations, something that can be applied top, down or bottom up. It starts everywhere. When you successfully complete the Agile People Framework Program, you will have enhanced Agile facets for your organization's culture, an understanding of the drivers of Agile People and how to use them effectively, comfortably and confidently discuss and address agile people issues in the organization. Role and responsibility definitions that encourage people growth rather than put them in boxes. A career mosaic instead of linear career paths. New, flexible and transparent approaches to the tough subject of remuneration and reward. And that's not all. You will also get new ways of actually managing performance in such a way that people develop and perform. Be able to build cross-functional HR teams, able to address business issues quickly and effectively. You'll experience agile learning firsthand and use agile tools and methods to put these in place. You'll develop an agile system that links together cohesively. You'll create your good to go agile HR plan and get advice and guidance from someone who has actually worked in IT for many years and understands the work and the people aspects of IT better than most. And all that we ask of you is attendance and completion of assignments, a willingness to learn new things and a willingness to apply new learning. Now you're probably thinking, that won't work in my organization. This training is not on our approved list. We're already using someone else for Agile. We don't have time for it. It's not in our budget. But the truth is, you really can't be too busy to learn something new. 
especially if it's going to impact your future. And the cost of not learning new things is much higher than the cost of actually learning. There is a new world of work out there and it's happening at a faster and faster pace. You're either on the bus or you get left behind. I know where I would rather be. And here's how you can get started on the Agile People Framework IT right now. We have a free Agile HR Mastermind group. The group meets once a month and decides on the topic for the next month. There's no limit to the number of people attending and there's no real accountability for attendance. So not everyone attends each meeting. The Agile People Framework training program is a six week training program consisting of 12 short, approximately 40 minute lessons, followed by an assignment that gives the opportunity to put what you have just learned into practice. The program is designed so that at the end of the program, you have a plan for implementing Agile in your organization. The Open Agile People Framework Mastermind is planned to be a six month in duration and covers much the same topics as the program. But instead of just learning from a program, we also learn from others on the program. Each group is limited to 10 members and each member is committed to attending all group meetings and to sharing information with the group. The in-house Agile People Framework Mastermind is run on the same basis as the Open Mastermind, but is limited to members from the same organization. In this way, the focus is on organization specific issues and solutions. We focus on masterminds because they incorporate the essentials of Agile, which are holding conversations to solve problems and achieve results. And the best thing is, for the first six people to register on the Agile People Framework training program in February, we are giving you a two for the price of one as a thank you and congratulations for being the first out the blocks. You and a colleague will be able to attend for the same price. You're already a winner. So go now and click on the link and we look forward to seeing you on the program.